Welcome back to the flipping challenge. So we're on episode 21 now. We've currently got about 2.1 mil in the bags. Um, let's see where we left off. What well, sales we've got in the mailbox. So we've got 288k in the mailbox, which is really good actually. This is a big seller right here. 133k. What else was big? These claws. <clears throat> Some, we got one of these sets of claws for only two gold ones and sold it for 35k, which is a really good flip. Uh, we got an island expedition bow and then the formula for the illusions. The, the formula for the illusions have been selling good too, actually. Sort of fair few of those. Um, and let's check out the auction house. It's sitting at. What's it sitting at? About 20 mil. We've got a sale also, a couple sales. Uh, awesome. So we paid 114 gold for this, reselling it for 2.2k. Nice little flip. But before we get into this episode, if you'd like to learn exactly how to flip how I am throughout this series and three other methods of actually how to flip, you can find all of that inside my flipping guide. And it goes over flipping on retail and flipping on Wrath of the Lich King Classic. So it has both of them included in the one guide. Um, and yeah, that'll be the first link down below in the description box. But how we're going to start off this episode is that we're going to, I think we'll do a shopping scan. We've got to spend some of this gold. No point having it in the bags if we want to keep flipping. Um, so we're going to run a browse scan. So a shopping scan. We might do it on, we might do a big one. And we'll do it on all of them. Or we'll do all these ones first. This just takes it's real quick, and then we'll do all transformers by itself, and then all recipes. See what we can find, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so we just brought a few good items. Let's check them out. So let's go through them here, and we'll see what we've picked up. So we've got this piece right here, this transmog chest. Can we actually view it while we're in here? We cannot. Um, so we had that chest. We've got this here for 8k, and now we should be able to resell this for about 40k. This helmet, the boots, we paid 500 gold each for these, and they're worth about 18k on my server. Um, this piece right here, we paid only 500 also for, and it's worth 18. They're both worth about 18. Oh, they're the same, they're just different names. Uh, anyways, moving on, we've got some dark whelpings. They are super cheap, only 4k each for these. Now the market value is about 3.5k for these, um, but I'm pretty sure it's currently sitting out at a min buy at like 20 something k each for these. And we've brought two in the past on this um, flipping challenge, and we're for about 2.5k, and we sold them off one for what was it? One for 4.7 and one for 33k. Moving on, we got a piece we paid 500 for. Should be worth a couple, couple k. Now these are really, really good buyers right here. So we only paid 60, what is it, 68,000 each for the night blades. Now we should be able to get back around like 200k each for these, like 200 to 250k each for those. So that's a really good buy right there. Another dark well-being for 4k. This piece right here, we should be able to get about 1,000 each for these. Um, what else we got down here? So these are really cheap, really, really cheap. Um, should be able to get about, I don't know, a few K to about 5K. It depends what the market is sitting at, if there's competition for that item. Um, we've got this Island Expedition piece that um, for 14K, and the market value is eight, uh, 83k, so it's a nice flip there if we sell that one. Um, and we got two of those, so one for 7k and one for f about 15k. So let's collect all the items that we've just recently bought and um, we'll see how much it increases the auction house value. So they're all really, really good items. Happy with those buyers. Um, let's see what the auction house so it's sitting at 20,171,000. So about um, nearly 20 mil. So let's post up these items. So you see the price is really, really good for these night blades. Only paying 68k, resell them for 200k each. Very, very nice. All right, so we'll post all these up. 
and we'll see what the Ockenhaus value is at. We did spend a decent amount of gold, maybe like 150 to 200k on that flip or that investment. So let's uh, post all of these up. This is a good sale here if we can manage to sell it for 160k. We only paid, this is the one we paid 7k and we paid, for one of them we paid 7k and the other one we paid 14,999. Right, let's get all of these posted up and we'll check out the total value. Let's increase the auction house. All right, so we've posted up. We spent around 150 to 200K on the investment and we've increased the auction house value by about 1.1 million. So that's very, very nice. Happy with that. Let's check out some of our big items here. This is a real rare piece right here. We only paid 150K for this, the haunted momentum. This, this has been removed from the game. Um, it sells for a lot of gold. Super, super rare. Not many people have these in the game whatsoever. Um, we got these plans here. This belt we paid only 10k for. So we some really, really good pieces. Here are the night blades that we just um, invested in. Anyways, so I think what we're going to do is we'll jump back on tomorrow. And we'll see how many more sales we've got. We might do another shopping scan, I think. There's going to be some big updates coming to the flipping guide um, in the future. We've actually got, well, I'm working on like five more different groups and completely um, changing all the groups in the flipping guide. So if we go into the groups right now, this is what I'm testing at the moment. So these groups here have got a lot of items. Now, some of the items in there, like there's 4,000 items just in these groups. Some of these items are under like 1,000 gold. Um, it's just in there for beginners, but even beginners, you probably want to be sticking to more valuable items, probably like over 1,000, just so it's worth your time when you've got to repost these items. So what I've been doing is actually removing some of the cheaper items that have went down in price and got a lower price on the, um, on the NA, that is. This isn't, isn't on the EU, but it still works on NA or EU. But basically going through, just um, tidying up these two groups, and I'm also adding five new complete groups with um, items I've been testing to flip and that I recommend flipping. So um, they'll be coming in the near future. And if you already own a copy of the flipping guide, you will get the new updates sent to your email completely for free. But if you don't already own a copy, uh, you might as well grab a copy. There will be a link down in the description box where you can go ahead and get the flipping guide. Um, but anyways, we'll see how many sales we got overnight. Welcome back, guys. It is the next morning. Uh, we're just reposting all the expired listings that are expiring. We actually have a really good sale in here, though. So we got the formula of the illusion for the primal frost. And as you can see, we spent about anywhere from 2k to about 5k for each of those, we've brought nine of them and we've already sold seven of the nine. And we actually just sold another one right now. Um, so so we spent on average about 3,499 gold on these. We just sold this one for 50K. So it's a nice little profit there, like, like 45K roughly, 45 to 47K. Very nice little flip that one. But um, let's keep posting all these items up back on the auction house. All right, so everything is posted back up on the auction house this morning. Um, we're sitting at 21,251k, which is very, very nice. Let's go check the mailbox so that that 50k sale we had should be in the mailbox by now. There it is right there, very nice. Oh, so we're up to 347k currently in the mailbox. That illusion um, was a very good flip, like, What's that, like 45k profit of that flip, very, very nice. Let's um, check out some of the flips we've actually done. So these ones here won't be won't be in what I'm showing you. You have to take them out of the mailbox for them to come up on TSM, like the tracking thing. So these ones won't be. All right, let's have a look at some of the flips we've done um, recently. So we've brought this for 4,500 gold. We've resold it for 259k, which is like a around a 250k profit of that one item. Very good flip right there. Now we've bought a few of these actually, we've sold a few. So this is the Razorfin. The Razorfin gear goes pretty good. 
Um, so we paid about 20k each for three of them. We've sold two already. We sold one for 123,000 and the other one for, um, where are we? The other one for 75k. Very nice profits there. Um, this Gamazic, this one actually sells for a decent amount. So we've got four in the past for a smart average buy of about 5.2k. We sold two of them already, one for 136,000 and the other one for 23k. Um, some other expedition pieces here. It's like 100k profit there, 119, 117, 103k, 100k, 90k, 85k, um, 86k, 82, 81k. Very nice profit. Uh, what's our biggest percent? So we paid we paid three silver for this pattern. We resold it for 800 gold. Um, what else we got here? Another pattern that we paid 30, 33 silver. Resold it for 569 gold. Paid 10 gold. Oh, whoops. Let's go back. Uh, where were we? So we paid. Where was it? 10 gold. 10 gold for this and resold two of them for um, 6.6k 6, 6 each. That's crazy. Anyways, some real good flips there. We're going pretty good with the challenge. Um, once we clear out this gold, we will have, we'll be back over the 2 million mark and all these new investments, we should be able to jump the price up a whole heap. Um, so what we're going to do now well, next up is we're going to run some shopping scans and try to buy some good deals. Um, we're kind of looking now, now that we've got so many items and a decent amount of gold to actually play around with, we're kind of mainly keeping our, our eye out for the bigger items. So like items in this price range, like anywhere that will sell, end up selling for like, honestly, like over, say like 100K, all the way up to like gold cap, anything in that spot. They're the main items that we want to start filling out our auction house with. Um, but anything that makes profit and has a good sell rate, we will be buying. But the main focus is these big items. We don't have too many mounts, I don't think. So I think we need to get some more mounts. Okay, yeah, we've just got this one guy. Oh no, we've got this one too. Um, we've sold heaps of these. Anyways, so I think what we'll do next is a shopping scan. Let's do it for, um, we might actually do a ore transmog, see what we can find in here, then all recipes and we'll go through the normal ones. Alright, we've finished buying up the items, we ended up getting just a few. Let's see what we got here though. So we got this pet, our pet's are really good because you can sell on any single server. Um, this one is going for about 8.2k on this round at the moment. We paid 1.1k each for those. These shoulders, they go for about 500 all the way up to about like 3.5. We paid only five gold each for those. Now these razor fin, a razor fin gear so is extremely good and the fire king, they're both really, really good. We only paid 8.5k for the boots. Um, we've sold a pair in the past for 30k. The current market value is um, 25k. So we only paid 8.5k, that's a pretty good deal. Um, we got the Firekin boots, they're going for about, we bought them for 2.5k, they're going for anywhere from, from like 6k all the way up to like 55k. Um, Island Expedition, um, Cosmetic here, that hat, sold one in the past, so we bought nine of these and we sold all nine in the past, so it's a pretty safe bet to buy more of these. Uh, we paid 5.6k and 5.3k, we're going to resell them. I don't think there's any on the market, so we probably posted like 67k each for those. The maximum price, or like 55k. Um, these boots, we got them for cheap, they're worth about you know, like around 1k each. Helmet, 1.3k it's worth. And the braces, worth about a k. Anyways, let's collect those. Throw everything up on the auction house. And then we'll come back a bit later, we'll see what we've sold. And we might. Um, do another scan, we might do a recipe scan and see what recipes are on the market. Alright, so now that we've made millions flipping in this challenge, I think we're going to go through 
and actually filter out these items that aren't worth much at all. So we just filter it by lowest, um, lowest to highest. We're going to go through like these items aren't really worth our time anymore to relist them now that we've got so much gold in the challenge. So we're probably going to go through pretty much all of these here and um, we're just going to cancel them and then we're going to take them out and just vendor them I think for now. Um, it's just not worth the time relisting them. Anything that's under about like all of these ones we can definitely get rid of. Probably down to like 250. Probably down to like the 250 mark, even up to like 500. Some of these items we would keep like this, definitely keep. Um, that so yeah, probably about at the 200 mark. Anything down from here, we're probably going to cancel and we'll vendor it just to um, make reposting a bit faster. Alrighty, so we finally got a repost on all of the flipping items. Let's check out what the auction house is currently looking like. So we're sitting at 21.9 million. So really, really good, pretty close to 22 million, which is perfect. Um, let's check out what sales we've had over the last like four or five days or so. We haven't done much relisting, so we're gonna have to get back into that. We've got a decent amount of sales. We've got 44 sales being 223K. What have we got here that stands out? So we've got this here for 28K. Now these are all after the auction house 5% fee. We sold another Razor Fin Grape Belt. These have been selling really, really well for a lot of gold. Um, oh, we got a few flips that we actually brought. So we got this mount, and we got this mount for, um, how much is it, 68K. And we should be able to get around 100, 120K for that. And we also got this other mount um, for 18K each. We should be able to get anywhere from like around 30k for this um, for this one right here which should be nice around 38 uh, 38k will be our main goal for that uh, what else we got a couple 10k sales so we're looking pretty good nothing too crazy the razor fin great belt was probably the best flip right there but anyways what we're going to do now um, we've just finished relisting so I think we will do a scan we still have heaps of gold we need to spend so we'll go ahead and let's run a shopping scan. Uh, let's do it on all the main groups. And let's um, see if we can find anything worth buying. All right, so the scan is done. Let's have a look what we've got here. So this is just up on our realm. We have enough of those. Um, the region sale average is only 1.7K. Here's a winner. Grab this one right here. So 1.2k, resell it for around 12k, there's only one of them, and we actually own it, so we can cancel that and we'll repost that at the maximum for 15k. Um, the Dark Moon Eye, this could be a good deal, what other competition? Awesome, so it's just us, so we'll buy this one for 10k, and we'll repost at the same price as our other at 100k. Alright, what else have we got here? Oh, this headpiece. There's not too much competition. It's only us. Perfect. Let's buy the one for 2k and we'll repost at 24k. What else are we looking at here? Was there multiple of them? There was. So we can buy both of those. Um, and that might be it for good items. This one could be worth buying. Let's check it out. This cosmetic piece from Shadowlands. It's too much competition really. Well, there's only two others listed, so what we'll actually do, we'll cancel all of ours. We'll buy the two at 3.4k, and then we'll repost them at a maximum price as we'll go 22k each for each one of those. So let's go ahead and buy these up. There's one more to buy. And then cancel our other ones. What else we got here while we're waiting for it to load? Nothing too crazy. The Island Expedition Dagger, we could buy that. Alright, awesome. So once this goes through, we'll cancel the other ones we had listed. And that is about it for this scan. There's not too much that's really worth buying. We could get the jacket. Alright, anyways, I think we'll come back, we'll do another scan 
in a bit when hopefully there are more items listed up on the auction house for a good deal. Alrighty, so we're back on the flipping character that we're doing the flipping challenge with. So it's been a few weeks, let's go ahead and check out how we're sitting. So we're sitting at 27 million worth of flipping items on the auction house, being about, what is it, 1,257 different, different listings uh, for a total of 27.3 million. Let's go ahead and check out the mailbox. This is over the last week or so of sales. Let's see what we've got in the mailbox. Oh, very nice. So we've got 483K. We've got 73 sales. So let's go through here. There's a couple big ones, a 27K there for a transmog piece. Uh, what else we got? A pattern for 35K. Another transmog piece for 24K. So all of these are over 50% profit or even more, um, that one there, 10k, a big one there, 109k, so that's a good one right there, I believe that is a fist weapon, I'm pretty sure, um, another good one right here, 80k, so overall, 483k in the last, I guess it was four weeks, because it's all the way down to one day. So it was a decent amount of time. We didn't do much relisting whatsoever. We still got a decent amount of sales just from listing like once a week. But anyways, guys, if you'd like to learn exactly how to flip how I am, you can find all of that inside of my flipping guide. It'll be the first link down in the description box. And the new patch that is coming out is going to make flipping absolutely amazing. And there's going to be a brand new section in the flipping guide that is going to help you make a lot of gold with the free trade that is coming in the next patch and you'll be able to flip on multiple rounds and make millions.